BBC hit show lands surprise second series after huge success on screen. Yeah, the show's got a second series, which surprises me, but then Amanda Holden is everywhere. Everywhere at the minute. I personally, I don't understand. I don't understand the attraction to Amanda Holden. I don't like a person. I don't, but everyone's allowed to like what they like, right? But this was the show with Alan Carr when she was in Italy and bought one of those one-pound houses on the island of Sicily, or Sicily as we call it. And um, it's not all it cracked up to. I looked at that. I looked at that. And uh, yeah, it's not as easy as it sounds. You do have to spend a lot of money on the house and you can't sell it for a while. So as all TV is, it's fake, obviously. And it was on the BBC. Anyway, but yeah, a second series. So let's see where they're going to buy a house to do up for a quid in the second series. How exciting. I can't watch it. I've not got a telly license. Amanda Holden has proven far more than just a clothes horse as she grappled with rats and rubble to fix up a Sicilian townhouse for a BBC show with Alan Carr. Amanda and Alan's Italian job. There's got to be a really good joke there somewhere. Clothes horse. I mean, she is, obviously, but there's, there's more horse-related humour. I'll work on it. I'll come back to you. Amanda has been quick to point out the home buying scheme exists outside of Italy too, in Portugal, Croatia, France and even Japan. She told me that if the Italian job took off, they were gagging to pull off another miracle makeover, this time an old Greek taverna. Probably already scoped that out, she knew she was going to get a second series. ITV, BBC, they're all over the place for Amanda Holden. She gets a lot of a lot of work for somebody who seemingly, from the outside, has very little discernible talent. But then what do I know? Because I definitely have very little discernible talent. But as I say, I didn't watch that show. I can't watch it. I don't watch anything on BBC because I don't have a telly license. And hopefully you don't as well, so you're not paying 159 quid towards Amanda Holden's mortgage, which she probably don't have. I would imagine she's mortgage free by now, obviously. But yeah, there's some fakery going on in here. And I know not all TV, especially reality TV and housing TV, is legit. It's for entertainment purposes only. But this was something I genuinely looked into. And I wasn't able to buy one for a quid. And I know people on the island. There was more to it. There was a lot of spend that had to be required in order to do the property up. That had to be guaranteed using local tradespeople. And um, you weren't allowed to sell it. We weren't allowed to sell it for quite a bit of time. So that's, I'm not convinced by that. And I didn't watch the show, but it sounds like something I would enjoy as long as it didn't have Amanda Holden in it. But if you enjoyed it, they're coming back. And yeah, if she reckons it's going to be a Greek taverna, they've probably already scoped that out. And if you pay your license fee, you can watch Alan Carr and Amanda Holden do up some Greek property they bought for a quid. And then they're going to sell it for charity, it says here. Good for them. BBC licence fees going directly to charity, basically. BBC are buying the house. They're sending Amanda and Alan on a decent salary out to wherever it is to do it up, paying all the tradespeople, getting a crew out there, putting the crew up in hotels, paying for the house to be renovated to then be sold for charity. All right, it's a charitable tax write-off probably for the BBC, but it's your licence fee money that funded that. Yours, not mine. Well, are you going to watch that? Do you pay your TV license fee? Can you watch that? Is it of interest to you? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon. Well, no. Ta-da.